Hi, my name is Jeff Hutchings and this is my beginner's guide to creating a song with BandLab. Open the BandLab app. At the bottom of the screen, tap the red plus icon. Scroll through the track type icons by dragging your finger over the icons. Then tap on the MIDI instrument icon. At the top of the screen, scroll through the tabs by dragging your finger over the tabs. Tap on one of the tabs. For this demo, tap on the Keyboards tab. Tap on one of the tabs at the top of the screen to select a category. For this demo, tap Synth Keys. Then scroll through the list by dragging your finger up the screen. To hear what each MIDI instrument sounds like, tap on the Play button to the left of the MIDI instrument name. Tap on the MIDI instrument name to download the MIDI instrument to your phone or tablet. A cloud icon will now appear under the name of the MIDI instrument. Tap on the MIDI instrument name again to open the MIDI instrument in a song track. Play the keys to hear the MIDI instrument. At the bottom right of the screen, tap the metronome icon so it is highlighted green. A beep will now sound on every beat of your song. A higher pitch beep will sound on the first beat of each bar. At the top of the screen, tap the icon that looks like a cog. This is the settings icon. At the bottom of the screen, tap the play icon to the right of the big red record button to hear the metronome play. To set the speed of the metronome and the speed of your song, Tap the blue plus or minus icons in the tempo section. The number in the blue center section is the beats per minute. Then tap the pause icon that is now where the play icon was. Now tap the return to the beginning icon that is to the left of the big red record button. Scroll down the screen and tap on count in. The count in sets the count in number of beats on the big red record button. Tapping on one bar will set a count of four. Tapping on two bars will set a count of eight and tapping off will turn off the count in. Tap on one bar. At the top of the screen, Tap the icon that looks like a sound wave to return to your track. Tap on the big red record button at the bottom of the screen to record. After the count of four that appears on the big red record button, start playing the keys in time with the metronome beeps. Then tap on the big white stop button that appears where the big red record button was. Then tap the return to beginning icon to the left of the big red record button. Just below the bottom right of the keys, tap the step sequencer icon. Scroll up or down the screen to find your recording. Your recording will appear as colored lines on the gray grid area. At the bottom right of the screen, tap done. Near the top right of the screen, tap the V icon to open the track mixer screen. At the bottom left of the screen, tap the mixer settings icon to open the mixer settings screen. Drag the white dot on the white line with your finger to the right to make your track louder or to the left to make your track quieter. At the bottom left of the screen, tap the mixer settings icon again to close the mixer settings screen. Now tap on the black plus icon just below your track. And tap on voice mic to add a vocal track. At the top of the screen, tap the feather icon to open the notepad screen. Tap on the notepad and then type in the words of your song.
Then, at the top of the screen, tap the wave icon to the left of the feather icon. Then, plug in headphones or a headset to your phone or tablet. This will stop you recording the sound of your song as well as your voice. Near the bottom left of the screen, the headphone icon should now automatically highlight green. At the bottom of the screen, tap the big red record button. Sing into your phone or tablet's microphone, or the headset mic if you are using a headset. Then tap the stop button that appears where the big red button was. Then can you... Now tap the back to the beginning icon to the left of the big red record button. Just above the big red record button, tap the FX icon. Scroll through the FX icons by dragging your finger across the screen. The FX icon that is in the center of your screen will be the effects that is added to your vocals. To take the effects off, return back to the None image. Just above the big red record button, tap on the Auto Pitch icon. Tap on the purple section of the circle to turn on the medium pitch correction. This will help you to make your vocals sound more in tune. Just above the big red record button, tap on the wave icon. Near the top right of the screen, tap the V icon to open the track mixer screen. Tap on your vocal recording so it is highlighted with a white border. Tap cut to delete your vocal recording. Near the bottom left of the screen, tap undo to undelete your vocal recording. Tap on your vocal recording again so it is highlighted with a white border. Press your finger on the vocal track and drag your finger to the right to move your vocal recording to the right position in your song. At the top right of the screen, tap the cloud icon. Tap save to save your song as a project. Type in a name for your project, then tap save. In the top left of the screen, tap the exit icon. To open your song in future and make changes, at the bottom right of the screen, tap the project icon. Then tap on the name of your song. Tap on open, then tap on mix editor. To publish your song on BandLab, at the bottom right of the screen, tap the project icon, tap on the name of your song, tap on view details. At the top right of the screen, tap the three dots and tap on edit mastering. Tap on one of the four icons to hear your song with different mastering techniques. Once you've chosen your preferred mastering choice, at the top right of the screen, click on the tick icon and wait for your song to be processed. Be aware this can take several minutes to occur. Finally, tap on the green publish button. Select a genre other than other. Then at the bottom of the screen, tap publish. Songs that you have saved are private and have a padlock icon to the right of the song name. If there is no padlock to the right of the song name, then your song is published 
and is available for everyone on BandLab to hear. If you've enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.